Well, happening today, Manatee County Commissioners are listening to people voice their concerns over the Confederate War Memorial that stands outside the courthouse. News Channel 8's Avery Cotton, she's was in that meeting this morning, joining us now live from Bradenton and Avery. One commissioner made a big move today. Yeah, good morning to you, Marco. Commissioner Charles Smith says he thinks it's going to cost around $12,000 to relocate the statue here. So today he wrote a check for $500 to go towards that and is urging others to do the same. Then after some pretty intense back and forth between the commissioners and even a phone call from the sheriff who's expressed some, con some concerns, they said that they are going to bring this back up again today at 2.30 to discuss it. Now around a dozen people spoke at today's meeting sharing their concerns to the commissioners. Some commenting on what we've been hearing pretty much nationwide about these issues, saying that yes, this is part of America's history, but it's a part of it that brought out the worst in people. And those are the people who want the statue either taken down or relocated. So they asked commissioners to consider putting it on the agenda for a vote. Others who showed up today are begging the commissioners to leave the statue where it is to honor those lives that were lost. Most of these monuments were put up by organizations such as the daughter, United Daughters of the Confederacy who are mourning their lost sons, brothers, and fathers uh, in the defense of their homes and nothing more. If the county was proud of this monument, if this was something that the county was behind, the county, everyone would know about it before now. The fact that we're pretending that we don't know about it shows how it's not something the county supports. All right, so last night, hundreds of people on both sides showed up for planned protest at the monument. However, at the meeting this morning, many claimed that those were people, the people who started trouble and fights were, quote, outsiders who just came to stir the pot. A member from Black Lives Matter Tampa told commissioners today the group has at least six more planned events like last night's. However, they do not plan to make them public. Therefore, it will surprise the county when they decide to protest, which is one of the reasons the sheriff here actually called a commissioner during today's hearing saying a decision needs to be made soon. Now, my colleague John Rogers, he is here today with me. He's going to be inside that 2.30 meeting and uh, he will bring you the latest developments later today. But again, they are discussing this again at 2.30, so we could have a decision on what they're going to do about this monument later today. Marco? Yeah, and Avery, as we saw yesterday with the events that were happening out there, this is an issue that's got a lot of passion on both sides of the aisle. Thank you, Avery Cotton.